Hey guys, Ben 1979 here. Gonna bring to you guys today a first look on the newest kayak cart from Genfine X. So if you don't know about Genfine X, they make kayak cart and it makes other outdoor equipment for the summer. Nice selection of different models and you know suited for your kayak. So this is their latest latest model. So this is the heavy duty kayak cart. So let me show you guys the model number. So this is the KT800 heavy duty kayak cart. So if you guys want to look it up on Amazon. Amazon. I don't think it's available yet, but it should be available shortly. And as soon as it is available, I am gonna put a link in the description. So let me show you guys the parts that came that comes with. So very minimal parts. Uh, this is super simple to assemble. So let me show you guys uh, the specs. So this is uh, puncture airless wheels, 450 pounds capacity, uh, bungee cord. So it comes with some uh, some straps that you can strap your kayak with. So let me show you guys how it is assembled. So with the two straps and I'll show you guys the buckle. Start with what comes in the box. So you have the kayak carts that you need to assemble, which I'll show you guys how easy that is to do. You have two straps, so they have a little bungee on them. So to be able to strap it nice and tight and you also have a buckle protector. So uh, this is gonna be a felt material that is gonna allow you to uh, strap it down on your kayak without having the metal buckle digging into your kayak. So nice little uh, cam buckle. So this is really easy and simple to use. Really easy guys. So it comes with two of them. So you have another one right here. So you have two of them uh, inside the box. You also have an extra wing nut. So in case you lose one of your wing nuts for assembling your kayak, you only have two of these. So this is an extra one. So they give you a third one in case you lose it. Uh, no extra bolts or anything else in there, but it's only uh, four bolts. So to hold down the, the kayak and you know, technically you don't even need to take them apart. So you never need to unscrew or do anything to, uh, to the cart. So let me show you guys some dimension real quick and see how long the kayak cart is. So let's start with the support. So the support or about uh, 29 and three quarter inch. So for each support, 29 and three quarter inch. So the length itself from wheel to wheel is about, let me show you guys from that angle, uh, 25 inches. All right guys, and wheel diameter is about eight inches. So you can see for the wheel diameter, it's eight inches. So a little bit on the small side, but it still does a great job uh, going around obstacles and just being able to drive around. Uh, they're nice and sturdy. So you can see the wheel here and it has a little nylon bushing inside to be able to uh, run smoothly. So. So guys, let me just show you guys how easy this is to take apart and assemble, all right? So very simple, very simple design. And I, I think the engineers or the people designing this uh, just did a good job. So you see most of these styles of kayak, they have a plastic component in here that allows you to mount low and high. This one doesn't though. So uh, what they could have done is just put a little other metal bracket on top and make it so you could do high and low installation. But this is uh, fine. You know, I don't think personally I would ever need to just adjust it for a, an inch or a more higher and lower. That doesn't really, uh, look, taking, taking the wheel off is just that simple. You have a push button on each side. You just take the wheels off two seconds, all right? So now you take the washer off. There's a small metal washer, you take it off. So simple as that. You take off the washer on, on each side. So you press that little button again to press it. Just remove that washer, it's, it's that simple. So now all you need to do is loosen up your, uh, your components here. So all you have to do is loosen that up. I already adjusted it for my kayak. So, but you loosen one side, you loosen up the other side. And once it's loosened, so it only tightens on one side, so which is uh, really nice on that design. And all you need to do now is just take that off, click, and you just remove it from that little tab here. You just depress on it and just remove that. And that's done. And the other one, and the more you do it, the easier it's gonna get. So the other one like that. So it's that simple to take apart, guys. So super simple 
quick and easy and this is how it breaks down so if you want to store it you just place it like that you just store it but for me in my kayak it's just going to go on the back of the kayak itself uh, here's all your components all together so you basically have so you have seven components in there guys so it's super simple breaks down into seven components so let's see real quick how it does so just like that super simple easy peasy so let's reassemble it and let's let's see how long it takes all right reassembly is super easy also all you have to do is just uh, take your bar you just put it back in here like so just put it through put the other one through here super simple click and then you just put the washers back click and actually assembly is going to be faster than this assembly to be honest your wheels and your wheels just clip it in place and done so you just make sure those buttons are pop with those little leaf spring and you're done so your cac is reassembled so now all you have to do is just measure the length on which you want your track to be so for me for my kayak it's 140 so now you just put it there and you just twist and tighten that up nice and tight so the tightening needs to be a little bit tighter so you just need to make sure that it is uh, properly tight so i'm just going to move that out of the way and to about 140 here so that's good so it doesn't really matter on which side you put your bar so if it's the wing nuts is on one side or the other so you could put it on the same side uh, for the wing nuts to be able to be easier but the dimensions are the same for the metal bars on each side so it doesn't really matter as long as you put it on the notch and on the uh, numbers that you want so for me it's 140 and it's that simple guys so the cart is reassembled so it literally takes two seconds from out of the box uh, on your kayak in two seconds uh, really easy to reassemble guys uh, <laughs> I can't stress that enough uh, j just the only thing you need to know is that you have to you know remember your washers not to lose your washers because that's important for the uh, function of kayaks this is why you don't you don't want the the wheels to rub directly on the uh, the square here so uh, you want that washers to be in there and you need to adjust the uh, you need to adjust each bracket or each support to be on the exact same numbers because you want an equal amount of weight to be distributed and you want the balance to be uh, to be on the same size on the bar so if you put it let's say one too much on one side and the other one in the middle it's not going to work you know it's it's not going to be balanced and the, the card is not going to work properly so you want to match that in the middle but i think that's logical and that's super uh, super simple so so let's see how it does on my kayak all right guys so you can see how it matches for the pelican catch uh, mode 110 so this is a tunnel hull design which are a little bit harder on different model of kayak carts so you need something that is adjustable you want something that's going to be able to conform to your hull so for me for the mode 110 uh, from pelican it's uh you need something like that so you need a crossbar with two adjustable bars on each side which you can get closer and larger distance so let me show you guys up close how it does so the uh, the card itself the cat card itself has some uh some rubber some foam uh, components in here so on the card itself it has in the middle grippy rubber uh, in there and it is epoxied in so you guys can see that it is epoxied in and then you have some uh, foam so you have two different types of materials so this is also pretty grippy so when you put it on your kayak it has uh, you know it's a little bit easier not to slide around so when you put it in there it's nice and it doesn't damage your kayak because it, it's nice and soft so now let's go see how it is and how you put it in your kayak and how it works 
for uh, for your kayak. Around. All right, guys, let's see how it e easy it is to put on a kayak. So if you've seen multiple kayaks card video, you'll see that it is pretty simple. So what you need to do is put your kayak and put it at the angle that you think your kayak is going to go afterwards. And you know, I'm placing the kayak cart forward, so that way. Uh, when you, you're placing it, it's just gonna fall into place. So let me show you guys what I mean by that. So when you're moving your kayak, uh, it's, gonna, it's gonna change angle. So if I'm moving it like that, it's gonna align itself and it's gonna be uh, easier to, uh, to match. So, all right guys, let's put in the kayak and let's see how it does. Just falls into place and it is perfect. Let me show you guys right there in between the halls so you guys can see that. Click, right there, fell in perfectly. So super easy guys to put on it. So let's, let's see, let's do a little demo just on my front lawn. So this is gonna be a preview video. It's not gonna be an actual review or testing. So this is gonna be a preview video guys. You see I, I have a ridge on my front lawn. So let me show you guys here. So I have a little ridge there. So if I don't have any straps, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult to move around and to be able to, uh, to get over that ridge. The way you wanna do going over any obstacles with a kayak cart is you wanna go on an angle. So you always go on an angle. That way you can climb any obstacle super easy. So uh, that little ridge there doesn't show a lot, but it is actually a little bit uh, cumbersome. So, now the, the, the cart slided because I have my uh, city water uh, valve here. So it just uh, catched up on there a little. So if I go straight and I try to pull it, see the cart is coming. So I don't have any straps on it right now, but I'm probably never gonna use any straps unless I go somewhere a little bit more remote where there's some more trees and some more stuff. So, so like I said, if you wanna go, you go at an angle, you climb it and you just, no problem, so super easy to lug around super easy to turn so super easy to to just drag your kayak so once there's some weight on it once i loaded it up with all my equipment it's even going to be more stable on there because it's just not going to move at all because of the weight it's going to add pressure and it's going to stabilize it a little bit more even so all right, guys, let me know your first impression on this kayak cart. So I know it resembles a couple of other models that are out there, including the original. So, but, uh, you know, once the patent expires, you got to think that uh, it's free game. And if something ain't broken, you don't fix it. So let me know in the comments below if you think this is a good kayak cart. Uh, so the price is going to be determined in the future. So how much it's going to sell for, but I think it's going to be a good price. And for what you're getting, guys, it's a pretty good cart. All right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video and catch you guys on the next one.